Yes, lads, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today on the channel, we have got a spending £150 on football shirts yet again. It is from the same company, but we've chosen some different ones. Hopefully, you guys might like this. And let's see what we've got. So the first one we have got is a Bayern Munich home shirt. Now, this is one of my favourites this year. It is an unbelievable shirt. At the back, we just had to. We had to. Forget Kane. This guy's the best English player that plays for Bayern Munich. Unbelievable. Eric Dyer. Same again with last time. The quality is unbelievable. The lettering is so good. I feel like they've improved a lot with the uh, numbers recently and even got the, the Bayern Munich in there as well. The badge on the shoulder... This is the one thing that I'm not 100% on. It has just got printing. It might be printed in the Bundesliga, but I thought it might have been kind of like a material. The badge on the on the actual shirt is unbelievable. And same with the Adidas. So that one cost me, I believe, £19. So for a £19 Bayern Munich shirt, we'll take that. Now, next up, we have got the brand new... England shirt. Now, I've seen online recently that this is coming in at £124. This has cost me 18 I think. Off the top of my head, it's £18 for this England shirt. And it is unbelievable. The badge is so good. Stitched in yet again. The Nike's good. Even comes with the label with a QR code on. Not sure what the QR code is. But we've even got the Euro badges on there. So I know in real life, this probably would have cost a lot more with the Euro badges. I didn't get a name on the back. Obviously, I didn't really didn't really care of what kind of what team we wanted to pick. I know we're going to win it. So that's a bonus. But yeah, a very nice shirt. Again, this company is unbelievable. But let's see which other one we have got now. Spanish World Cup days. Now, 2010. Now, I've got three keepers that are my favourite in history. This one is my number one. So, to get something like this and to see it on their website was... I just had to get. So, we have got the Spanish goalkeeper shirt from when they won South, Afri South Africa FIFA World Cup. Now, the badge is... Um, it is stitched in, which I like. I like that they've got the number on the front as well and the Spanish badge there. They've even pulled it out of the bag with the name on the back. It looks unreal. I'm so happy with this shirt. So happy. This is the first time seeing some of these as well because the delivery literally got delivered a few minutes ago. So I quickly jumped on. They've even got, I can't speak Spanish, but Campinos de Mundo 22. 2010, so I'm guessing that means Champions of the World 2010, which I'm I'm not going to lie, it's unreal. They've even got the Adidas little plastic bit down at the bottom, if you guys remember that from when we were kids, or even if you are kids, and it still has it on the tops, I'm not too sure. But that is the Spanish World Cup. Now we are going to go for a rugby one this time. Now this is my mate, and he's bought a fee. A Fiji rugby shirt. So he's been on the website. Now, guys, this website isn't just football shirts. There's F1, there's North Face jackets, there's there's a whole load of stuff on there. So if you do want to go on there, I'll leave a link in the description below. But this is the rugby shirts. Now, for a rugby shirt, I think this looks pretty cool. Uh it says rugby league world cup 2021. Nice big Vodafone. Thing. This Vodafone is just the sponsor that I would expect from a rugby shirt. I'm not gonna lie. Now all of this is stitched in. It isn't. It isn't badged or printed on. So it seems like decent quality for a rugby shirt. To be fair, I'm not. I'm not the best at reviewing rugby shirts because truthfully, I don't like the sport. I can't. I can't get into it ever. So um. So yeah, it it feels like quite a nice shirt. Obviously the back as well is. Is fairly good. It doesn't seem that see-through as well, which which some fake shirts you get are see-through. 
but um, that one seems seems really nice. Stitching seems seems good as well. So I think he'll be very impressed with that one. He's also got another one on the way. Um, they just they were just out of stock on the other one that he wanted. So he's bought a an 05 Fabregas purple shirt, which I'm not going to... We'll go for this one. Now, this is a Barcelona Neymar shirt. Before he moved to PSG and before he made that ridiculous move over to the Saudi League, we have got a Champions League Berlin final Barca shirt now this it has got the holes in the side which I do like it has got the Champions League logos on there that is printed on that isn't stitched but the badge and the Nike logo is stitched again it's got the holes in the side which to be fair I like so they see this oh and they actually feel they feel real as well I'm not gonna lie they've even got the um, stuff where they're actually meant to be which is really nice dry fit at the back seems all good same again with the back it's not 100% see-through but it, there is a little bit of a, a see-through side of it which to be fair you do you do kind of get with these shirts even got the authentic little logo on the side and then also the UNICEF sponsor at the bottom I want to say is this against Juventus I don't remember who won this I want to say Juventus maybe won this won this Champions League but my ball knowledge on Champions League isn't the best because I only like League 2 football so to be fair if they were selling League 2 shirts which they only sell one shirt in League 2 and I'll let you guys guess in the comments but I think you all know who they would sell right I've got to fold this up nicely for them because my mates will come and get them and then the last one the pro this is when I started watching Prem football for a little bit. So this is obviously a United, and this is my first time seeing it, United Champions, the Premier League, 06, 07, United shirt. It is a really nice shirt, to be fair. Ronaldo on the back, really nice. Now, my mate's a bit of a weirdo for doing this. I'm going to call him out on this. He's an Arsenal fan, but bought a United shirt. Not too sure about this, but I do like it. I do like it. There's even got the, the Red Devils in the corner, Nike fit. I, I do like the lines as well. Do you remember the um, the AGI gold, white, and black one for United? That one, that one has to be up there with one of my favorites. But it's a really nice shirt, to be fair. The Nike logo is really good. And same again, this company is is very good and if you guys obviously if you guys are struggling a little bit and you want to buy a football shirt that you want to do in i do do orders orders in my discord so if you i'll leave a link to my discord in the links below or if you want to ask me about anything with this site please leave a comment but i'll catch you in a bit and peace